So we started to build a, a global team uh, that helped not only with like creating uh, or sharpening the positioning for the brand, mm -hmm. uh, helping translate that positioning to all touch points, helped with like more marketing discipline in terms of like research, in terms of having the right menu architecture and pricing for the for the for the countries. It's not just about advertising, right? I mean, th there are many more variables than uh, than just advertising, and I think that we 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 got into like a rhythm of like doing things right. Uh, which yield to good business results and as I said right. the brand is becoming stronger and I think that uh, what's next is like to keep doing what you're doing and, and trying to make it better every time you know like uh, we are bringing like many ideas uh, uh, to, to the markets in the US and across the globe like uh, with a much stronger frequency mm -hmm. we are getting it right more often uh, we're getting more confident about uh, our approach uh, so you're going to probably see more of what you're seeing It needs to come from the brand. Uh, you cannot like uh, uh, create a purpose out of the blue. If, if historically the brand has not had like uh, an angle or something that can be associated to a purpose, uh, it will come across very inauthentic. Right. Uh, and it will probably not link back uh, to the brand. Uh, in the case of Burger King, Burger King is known for allowing people to have it their way. Yeah, like we allow for customization. And for many years, the tagline of the brand was have it your way. Yeah. Uh, and then you think about have it your way, have it your way, in my view, is the ultimate respect for the individual. So it becomes very easy to derive a purpose out of that. You know, a purpose of like welcoming everyone and, and encouraging people to be their way. We respect the individual. So it's almost like elevating uh, have it your way, which originally was about customization, to an expression around encouraging people to be their way. So in that sense, it comes naturally uh, from the brand. And that's why we can do campaigns like Proud Whopper, uh, which uh, was done like two, three years ago. Right. That's how we can do campaigns such as Mac Whopper, which is basically like welcoming uh, the, the biggest rival. Proud Whopper is welcoming the LGBTQ community. Uh, it, it comes natural from the brand. Most of the time, when you have a marketing effort, uh, it results in nothing happening. You know what I mean? Like uh, many times like in my career, you do a TV spot that you tested and it tested well and all that, and you put the spot on air, invest millions of dollars in, in media, and nothing happens. Like uh, it doesn't shift e either way. Um, so that to me is, is risky, uh, to invest millions of dollars in media behind an effort and then nothing happens. So I think that when we do some of the ideas uh, that we became famous for, mm -hmm. like a Mac Whopper, Proud Whopper, Google Home of the Whopper, Burning Stores, those are ideas that have a chance of standing out. They have a chance of people talking about these ideas when they go to a bar, they go to a pub. Uh, and this is the type of ideas that we are, we are looking for. It doesn't mean that, uh, it doesn't mean that uh, we, we are not afraid or that we are fearless. It only means that even when we are afraid, because we are anxious and afraid <laughs> when you're doing those ideas, uh, which we think is a good thing because it means that the idea has voltage. And if the idea has voltage, chances are that people may talk mm -hmm, about the idea mm -hmm. in a pub. Yeah. So we are searching for those ideas. So uh, the biggest risk is to think that you are safe by doing safe work. Usually the way we work is we let the idea inform the media. So it's very easy to get distracted and um, um, uh, confused about mm -hmm. the evolution of the media landscape and this and that. Uh, it's very, very easy. It happens to everyone, myself included. So what I try to do together with the agents and together with the marketing team at Burger King is we try to, for, to focus on getting the idea right and finding the best idea. After we have that, we let the idea inform the media. Right. Uh, and sometimes we land in, in, in classic kind of like media channels. Sometimes it's like more of like new stuff. Um, but it's all coming from the idea. And I think that that's, it's a very liberating uh, way of thinking because it avoids you getting lost uh, in the complexity of the evolution of the media channels. It starts with having a clear brand positioning. Mm -hmm. You know, like make sure that uh, the brand positioning of your brand is really clearly defined, that the values and personality of the brand are very clearly defined. Uh, you cannot be 
everything to everyone. Yeah. Uh, so if like the, when I work on Unilever, the brands were like really well defined. Uh, the work that we did, the global marketing team at Burger King, started with getting to a clear definition of the brand. Mm. Uh, if you don't have that, it would be um, the, the quality of the work that you do being consistent. Because if, if it doesn't link back uh, to the brand, uh, sometimes you get it right, sometimes you get it wrong, you will leave it to, to chance. So to me, it's like number one, get have like crystal clear clarity in terms of brand position. Mm -hmm. Number two, to me, is like having a very strong brief uh, to the agencies uh, you work with. Uh, and a very strong brief means that it's an insightful brief, uh, and that's a very sharp, simple brief. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the best work that we, we did, uh, it comes from a brief that was very simple. You mm -hmm. know, like a Google Home was about showcasing that the Whopper is more real than people think. Um, uh, um, uh, Proud Whopper was about showcasing that we welcome everyone. Even on the Unilever days, the briefs were like one-line briefs. Right. Uh, so uh, make super simple, from coming from an inside, uh, and then you're going to dramatically increase the chance of getting a uh, good creative. Third tip for me is to take some chances. You know, like you never know when a campaign will be a home run. Uh, you never know when a campaign will fall a little bit flat. Uh, the good news is that you are not investing too much money up front uh, in terms of media because you're looking for these ideas which will trigger a lot of earned media. Mm -hmm. And many times, like uh, the investment is in social media only or social media influencers, uh, which is much more real time uh, than buying TV media, which you have to buy a couple of months in advance so that you can get a discount. Right. So take some chances. Mm -hmm.